Hi, thanks for sharing your plan. I've got it open in my copy of X11. You didn't say what you have, so it opened in X11, so I'm gonna work it in X11, right or wrong. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the snap grid and visual grid. I never use those. Okay, so let's take a look at your plan. I, this is totally unrehearsed. I haven't looked at it for several minutes before I started the video. This is just completely extemporaneous. I don't care about that missing materials. That's your problem. Okay. Well, just at a glance, I don't see any problems except right here. And that's, that's just because the model's unfinished more than anything else. You talked, you mentioned walls that appeared. I don't see any walls. Maybe, maybe they show up in a different camera type, like a dollhouse. Let's see. No, I don't see any problems. Okay, flunk. <laughs> I don't see any walls that you were complaining of in your post. Hmm. See this side. Well, let me. Let me use a different camera type so I can really see what's going on here. We'll change to a vector view and turn the color off. Okay, now that looks all right. Nothing wrong with that. That's okay. It's a little bit un unfinished business here. It looks like, let's take this, join roofs with that edge, probably, maybe. Okay, that worked. And then this, just doesn't belong here, it belongs over here on the other side. You take that and use a join roofs tool on this side. And okay, and then this stupid thing here doesn't belong up here. We'll just make it a single ridge. <coughs> now the rest I'm gonna do, uh, well, what I'm gonna do next is pull this up until it meets the ridge. And then I, I don't think I can finish the rest of this in this camera view. I'm gonna go back to plan view and turn on uh, roof lines. Roof, 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 there they are. I thought. And I want baselines. Okay, baselines are on. Okay, here's where I was working. And I need to uh, go up to the second floor and back down and then turn on the reference display. Okay, here's... I think that's the edge of the wall. Well, let's right up, jam up against it. I'm gonna take this and pull it up here, close to that wall. I'm gonna break this here. I'm gonna take this and parallel it to that wall, I'm maybe off a degree or two. There we go, that's better. And bring it up close like that. And go back to the overview and see what that looks like. I don't think that's a, no, it didn't. See, it that covers up the window. So that's not acceptable. So how can we get this to work? Well, see, you got this pitch over here and it's uh, 412 and this is steeper over here at 612. But the 612 covers up the, win the bedroom window. There's nothing here but attic space, so you can lower this pitch, I think, to this, which does work, that's four. I'm gonna change, well, let's just do both. I'm gonna get both, open them, and change it from six to four. And see that where that gets us. Just waiting for the computer to comply. Okay, that's revealing the window a little bit. Let's go 312. 312 would be the minimum you could use. I think that'll at least clear this window. Yeah, barely. 
Now I'm going to take this one and uh, rejoin it to these uh, altered roofs. Okay. Now I need to hit F5 and get rid of this. I was wondering why my video card, my expensive video card wasn't updating, but it got there eventually. A little bit of a glitch there, no big deal. The major problem here, you know, let's uh, see, this window, I don't know if this is an egress window, but you may have to change the type to 36 if you can, so it clears the roof. Then this, we would join into this after we've been, oh, it's not working, let me try it again. There, that worked better. Okay, that just means that I have to do some surgery on, on this roof plane so it can comply with a command. Get rid of that extra break there and then try again. Okay, <clears throat> so that works a bit better. And I'm sorry about having to resize the window, but the floor plan geometry determines the geometry of the roof. That's not my fault, that's your fault. <laughs> if it's a fault, I'm being facetious. And then this little guy here, commonly what happens there is I'm gonna put a little break over here. and then pull this back and then put a break in this edge and then join the two resulting lines that I got left here, this one and that one. That's how that would work. Yeah, you got a tiny little ridge there. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry I didn't see any walls. I was a, a, kind of prepared to see, okay, here's a wall that's missing. See there, this one here, auto-generated. Let's see what the wall type is, wall types. It's interior four. Yeah, we don't want interior four there. We want this one. So I'm just gonna, I don't know why this wall generated itself. Let's pull that over in here. And we'll just overdraw the uh, wall, unwanted wall with a want, wanted wall. Easy peasy. Okay. See now that auto, see, and this is an auto generated wall. I manually edited it, edited it, but it's an attic wall, no room to find, no locate. It was auto generated by the software. Okay. So I was expecting something different based on your initial uh, complaint, but uh, all I see is a some manual roof editing that needed to be done, okay? If I missed the point, sorry, have a good day. <laughs>